up, everybody? This is Roberto Lorenzo Ferguson. Yes, Robert Ferguson. I'm a guy who shares because I care. I am your new friend. And today, I am going to share with you what I believe, and not just me, many leading experts around the world believe is the number one supplement, supplement that we can all benefit from taking. This supplement is proven through randomized controlled studies again and again and again to increase skeletal muscle, help with fat loss, and literally increase thyroid function in your liver. Now, if you didn't know this, 40 to 60% of our metabolism is dictated by our thyroid. This supplement also is proven to help with insulin sensitivity, meaning it's helping reverse insulin resistance. The studies demonstrate how it helps decrease glucagon, which is a hormone that comes from the pancreas that can cause our sugar levels to go up. So it's helping with that. And it also has proven through multiple studies to decrease leptin levels and decrease inflammation that many people are battling with. And when you have a quality supplement that is proven to do this, now that's something to talk about. And so I have partnered with this new company. I'm very excited about it because they get the food as medicine whole philosophy. They welcome the importance of promoting nutrition education. However, they're big into testing. So remove the guess and then bring in the test. And when you do the test, the same as they do with vitamin D3, your doctor tests you, they see that you're deficient, then they encourage you to take a vitamin D3, then they test you again, and then you find out you're no longer deficient and what you've been taking is working. That speaks to me. Now to help me today, I'm gonna bring on Lisa Marie, AKA Hammer Girl. And we're gonna have a conversation and I welcome any questions that you guys have. And for those people who have already seen the silver lining when it comes to this product that we're sharing with other people, then this will be a good video to share with other people and just say, hey, listen to this because we're going to go into it. I'm going to share some videos and just share some real legit data. And this is just the beginning of many to follow because it just makes sense. And I can tell you right now, and I'll go into more detail, that since 1998, I have written documentation that I have been looking for a product like this since 1998. I didn't say, you know, Night, uh, 2018. I didn't say 2008. I mean, that's showing my age right now. <laughs> that is 1998. And I got into this business of weight loss and health in 1995. And I've been at it ever since. So I got 29 solid years, uh, multiple uh, evidence based clinical studies behind me, books, uh, speaking, researching. I mean, you name it. And finally, there is a product that makes sense, that is in alignment with me, and is part of a movement because almost every person walking on this earth will benefit from it. So again, I can. Our goal is not to keep you too long. I, I promise, Hammer Girl, that we will be in and out. So let me bring her on. What's up, Hammer Girl? Hey, Robert. How are you? You know what? I am good. I told you that I was feeling a little beat up, a little down, a little tired. And it really has more to do with, you know, I just lost a, a very close friend and client and it really, you know, it's, it's bothered me yeah, and, and it, it zapped, it zapped a lot out of me. And, uh, and then it just reminded me, this is what we got to do. We got to, we got to put this out there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a little bit about what we're going to talk about, but I know a little bit. Yep. But I want you to also be a voice for the people and you can, you know, push back on me or ask some questions or or remind me of things that I have forgotten. Okay. If you will. I will. Um, 
Now, I want to read out loud what I wrote in the description. It says, regarding our overall health, omega-3 fatty oils are a top priority. And then I said, but how do we know we're choosing a quality product? The answer is simple. Get an omega-3 test. And by doing so, you're in the driver's seat and can be certain that the product you're taking is working. After four months of use, test again and see the results. And if you're getting the results, it is a no-brainer. This is what got my attention with this company, is that you test and you don't have to guess. I know the importance of omega-3s, and so I want to shed light on that today. And for anyone who's interested, you can reach out directly to me, reach out to Lisa. We can get you more information because everyone will benefit from this type of supplement. And the cool part is that it's a supplement, but it's real food still like in the grade of a food. So it's a supplement, but yet it's real. That makes sense? It does. Okay. Now to set the stage, <clears throat> Um, let's, let's just go over the, what, when you do the test, what are you looking for? So right now, everyone can go to their doctor this week and you can say, Hey doc, I want to get an omega-3 test. You can do that this week. And your doctor may or may not do it. They may have you pay out of pocket, but you could do that. Oftentimes the doctor will say, well, why do you want to do that? Well, we're set up where you don't have to go to your doctor. We just give you the test. So we mail you the test, you prick your finger, same as you would do with a glucose monitor, and you put it in this little boxes there, you mail it off, and in less than 10 days, you log in, you get this special code, and there's your report, a 21-page report that breaks it down step by step. It gives you your omega-3 test number, your percentage. And then it also gives you your ratio of omega-6 to 3, which we'll talk about, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And now you know. Now, I'm going to dive into the ratios, right? So I want you guys to understand omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. They are both essential, meaning if you don't consume them, then you're dead. So most people walking around in North America are doing pretty good. We're... we're we don't have a problem with omega-6. Matter of fact, we consume too much omega-6. So I want you to think of omega-6 as pro-inflammatory, meaning it causes inflammation. And I want you to think of omega-3 as reducing inflammation. It's kind of like when you go to the doctor and the doctor says, you know, eat more salmon, eat more fatty fish. That's omega-3. And with that, that reduces inflammation and helps a whole bunch of other stuff. Omega-6, I want you to also think of seed oils because most omega-6 is rich in linoleic acid, which causes inflammation. That causes a whole bunch of hardships when it comes to our health, from various cancers to insulin resistance to migraines. I mean, all these autoimmune challenges, we are just out of control when it comes to omega-6. Now, the ratio would be omega-6 to omega-3. So, for instance, if you're three to one, that means for every three omega-6 in your body, you have one omega-3. So that's three to one. So if you're three to one or lower, that's a good thing. If you're over three to one, like, say, 20 to one, then that's not a good thing. And what correlates with that would be your omega-3 test, which will give you a percentage. If you're under six, that's alarming. So I'll just set the stage here, and I need you to interject a little bit, Lisa. One of my clients back in December, he had just lost 137 pounds. Now, most of us would say if you lose 137 pounds, you're healthy, right? You're healthier. And that's the way we would look at it, right? Most people think Weight loss is indicative of better health, okay. vice versa, and it's not. So I went to Brett and I said, hey, Brett, I want you to do the test. He did the omega-3 test, came back. He was 48 to 1. Wow. And his omega test was 1.9. 
that's scary low. Remember, you want to be, you should be over 8%. He's 1.9. His ratio's 48 to 1. He is a walking inflamed person. And I had major concerns for him. And so now he's using the oil. And we have about, you know, two months or a little less than two months. And we're going to redo his numbers. And my guess is that he is going to be probably close to three to one in just 120 days. But without the test, we would we would we would guess. Right. OK, so I also, Lisa, talked to a dozen very high profile, pretty famous, some of them uh, experts who are physicians, scientists, biochemists, and I wanted to know what supplement are you guys taking? And the one across the board with everybody would be a quality omega-3. And all of them want to learn more about the omega-3 we're making available. Because when I broke it down and shared it with them, they were totally impressed and were like, well, tell me more. Mm -hmm. So I will be telling them more. So I have some slides and I have a video I want to walk through. And we can kind of watch a little bit and then talk about it. And I'm also going to share a study, you guys, uh, when it comes to like the benefits of omega-3s. So it's been studied big time. And I'm going to walk you through a study with some video. But first, let me share something because some of you are like, well, how do you know? Well, if you look at this screen right here, you go all the way to the far left in the 1800s. We were walking around at one to one. And so around 1900, it's estimated we're like two to one or three to one. Now, keep in mind, if you went over to, let's say, Alaska or you got with the Eskimos, the Inuit, they weren't three to one. They were like one to three because back then they didn't even have access to carbs. Basically, they were just eating fat and protein. They were eating fatty fish all day, every day. And at that same time, they didn't have challenges with heart disease and all of the things that are tied to inflammation. I mean, that's a, that's a big point. It's something I would recommend everybody remember. But we keep getting worse and worse and worse. And as you can see on the chart, on average, we're 25 to 1, if not higher. Okay? And a lot of that's because of the processed foods that we're eating and the fact that we're not getting enough omega-3s. Now, here are some common symptoms of someone who's deficient in omega-3. So if you walk around and you're a little fatigued or tired, that's a sign that you're deficient in omega-3. Mental uh, health issues, depression, right? That's a sign that you're deficient in omega-3. And when I was talking to my mom earlier today, I said, hey, mom, when, when my niece got pregnant, what were some of the recommendations that doctors gave her? They recommended she take a fish oil, something that's high in omega-3. Why? Because we know that omega-3 uh, EPA, DHA, we know that it helps with brain development. Kids who have an adequate amount of omega-3 uh, have a higher IQ. It's just benefit after benefit after benefit when you have an adequate amount of omega-3. Uh, there's quite a few people as they mature in life have dry eyes. Well, you want a good fish oil. The problem with a good fish oil is that you don't know if it's good. And there is no test. And we know through various studies that over 80% of the fish oils being sold right now are rancid. And our oil, we don't have that problem. If someone's dealing with some stiffness, joint stiffness, joint pain, again, that's a sign that you're deficient in omega-3. Uh, hair changes, like become brittle, thinning, brain fog. How many people are walking around with brain fog or they're, they're now in their 50s and 60s and they keep forgetting everything? They can't remember their, their best friend's name and somebody has to remind them. These are signs of deficiency of omega-3. Skin irritation, rashes, acne, dryness. Again, deficiency of omega-3. Knowing this, we have a solution. Okay? So far, so good. What do you think? <laughs> Sounds good. I mean, we I think we set it up just right. And so now we're going to play this video. So I have this lady, Dr. Rhonda. She opens up. And listen to her words, what she says. The first thing she says, you know, and this was a cut. It's an excerpt that I, I got from an interview that was done with Rhonda. Okay. She's a, she's a scientist, 
She's amazing, a brilliant lady, and one of the top experts around the world when it comes to omega-3. Listen up. Same goes for omega-3. You know, there's omega-3 is, it's probably, I think, one of the most important, you know, nutrients that um, is it's really overlooked. People just don't even really think about it. Okay. So I wanted to stop there just for a second. She takes omega-3. So omega-3 is our friend. Okay. Now what I did is I brought up, or I like this guy, a really smart guy, uh, Thomas Laurel. He's a researcher. He's got about 3 million people on his uh, subscribe to his, his, uh, uh, YouTube channel. And, um, I'm going to go with him on this part one of four. So today we're only doing part one. I want to go through this video as he talks about a study that I have in front of me. I'm holding it. You can hear the papers. So I'm going to let him talk. I'm going to pause it. We're going to talk about it. You're going to have some questions maybe, or bring up something. If anyone has questions, you can bring it to our attention and then we'll go from there. Okay. But listen closely. Okay, we're looking now at quality omega-3 oils, right? Here's a study, a randomized controlled study that he's talking about and we're talking about. I knew it. I told you I've been mega dosing fish oil for a super long time. And now there is a brand spanking new study that takes a look at how fish oil increased resting energy expenditure, your basal metabolic rate, not just a little bit, but a lot. Okay, so the first thing is in this study, and he's going to go into more detail. Again, I have it in front of me. They had two groups, broke them up, all athletic athletes. The group that consumed the, the oil, the fish oil that we're talking about, they were burning more calories, like over 200 more calories a day, more than a group that didn't use the oil. So it was very clear, and this study has been duplicated multiple times, that when you take this type of oil, an omega-3 oil, you're burning more calories naturally without having to do anything, over 200. That's a big plus, okay? Now let's go a little deeper. One of my favorite journals, like there's a BMC. So BMC Sports Science Medicine Rehabilitation Journal always publishes, I don't know, I find like really relevant stuff, at least in the world that I'm looking at. Okay, and what they did is they took a look at subjects that consumed 2000 milligrams of fish oil, which isn't even a large amount. That's a, like a moderate amount, right? Good quality fish oil. And in this case, they took 36 people that were already like somewhat athletic, 36 mild athletes, right? And so they put them on either that fish oil diet where they just added fish oil to their diet or they had a control diet. So they ate pretty much the same thing. Just one group had 2000 milligrams of fish oil. Results were pretty wild. Okay. Aren't you excited to hear about the results, Lisa? <laughs> I know you stopped it. I'm sitting here. We have was like, okay, let's get <laughs> All right, you guys, let's go into the results. Check this out. First and foremost, the result was pretty cool when it came down to fat adaptation. Let's get that one out of the way really quick. They found that the subjects that had the fish oil ended up having three times the fat adaptation or PPAR alpha activation as the control group. Whoa, because we used to just think that fat adaptation was exclusively for those that were doing keto for long periods of time or exclusively for those that would intermittent fast for a lot. But the reality is, is that there's ways to stimulate PPAR alpha and start the fat adaptation process much easier, much different, right? So by activating PPAR, you got more fat adapted. Well, let's kind of carry on because that is just sort of the prelude to what's coming here next. Okay, so I'm going to bring clarity to this, to this, you guys. Okay, when you activate PPAR, and he mentions the term fat adaptation. Fat adaptation is a word term you everyone would benefit from knowing if you've ever done keto uh they talk about fat adaptation a lot so here so hear me closely okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this really slow but if you have questions post it you guys our bodies are always okay imagine capitalized always burning fat for fuel and always burning carbs for fuel we're always burning carbs and we're always burning fat the difference is we will primarily 
burn either fat or primarily burn carbs. If you primarily burn carbs, you are a carb burner. That's what we don't want. Okay. That's also a sign of insulin resistance. If you are primarily burning fat, then you're a fat burner and you have really good metabolic flexibility. Now, fat adaptation, which is increased by taking the oil, is a what they call a long-term metabolic adjustment that can take place with ketosis. Simply put, you're primarily burning fat for fuel if you have increased fat adaptation. This also results in decreased cravings, increased energy levels. Remember we talked about people who are deficient in omega-3, they are a little tired, fatigued, and improved sleep. These are medical studies, you guys, from around the world that conclude in everything that we're sharing with you about the benefits of these oils. Okay, so you have increased fat adaptation. Okay, now the PM ID, what you see here is the citation number if you wanted to read the complete study that we're talking about. Okay, so it's going to get a little bit more scientific and then we'll be at a place where we can wrap it up. But right now we know that there's a benefit with omega-3. We've talked a good, a good amount about what are some of those benefits and we're gonna go a little bit more into the study, okay? Then they found that those that consumed the fish oil had a significant improvement in their resting energy expenditure. Okay, so the group that did not have fish oil, their basal metabolic rate, their baseline calories needed for basic function, not gaining or losing weight at rest, was 1,527 calories. At the end of the study, it was 1,557. Okay, like barely a change. The group that had 2,000 milligrams of fish oil daily, 1,792 up to 2,012. Okay, that was like a ton. That's a huge increase in resting metabolic rate or resting energy expenditure without doing anything other than adding fish oil into the mix. See, this is where I could just stop and just walk away. And, 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 and help me here, Lisa, because in this study that's been duplicated multiple times, validated, verified, and reproducible, each time the people who were taking the oil, a quality oil, were burning over 200 more calories every day just because of the oil. Didn't do anything different. Didn't go for a walk. Didn't do anything. Just took the oil. What's your thoughts on that? Um, wow, I didn't know about these studies. I think that's really, I've always looked at fish oil for different reasons. Um, so I did not really, you know, I, I didn't know about these studies. So thanks for sharing these. But that's that's really impressive. Oh, and it, and it gets more impressive. So, like, I mean, for me, and I told you that I looked into possibly doing something with Juice Plus about three years ago. And I, this is not a dig on Juice Plus, but they said they had a really good fish oil and they said they had all the documentation to support it. I went deep in it, talked to all of their main people. I even paid money just because I was like, I didn't want to waste anyone's time. Came up short. It was not what they say it is. What we have, you can, there's, we, there is no competition. We have no competition. I haven't even talked about how they extract it and the patents they have in place and, and how they fuse it with polyphenols. We haven't even gotten into the oil. We're just talking about if you have a quality omega-3 oil, these are some of the benefits you can get. So I'm going to let him wrap it up and, uh, and, let, and we'll keep talking. Boom. But if we dive in a little bit deeper, it's pretty wild. So the same BMC study, if you look further down, you find that there was an increase in uncoupling proteins with the omega-3 group. And I've actually talked about that in other videos, but probably been years ago and you probably don't remember it. Omega-3s can stimulate the expression of uncoupling proteins. So the omega-3s were making it so that the fat that was getting burned, a lot of it was getting burned just as heat. Uncoupling proteins 
allow fat to be or calories to be burned just as heat. It basically creates a, a dysfunctional link in terms of the electron transport chain. Instead of energy transferring down and creating energy that we can actually use, it dissipates as heat as a wasteful thing. Why it really happens, it's a little bit unknown, like it's a little bit weird, but it's a very good thing when it comes down to the metabolism because it's keeping our metabolism burning hot even if we're not extraordinarily active. Now in this particular group, we were taking a look at active people already. So active people that already have a decent metabolism, but then you add omega-3s into the mix and it just like intensified that. That is extremely, extremely interesting. Well, there you go. So you have that thermic effect, that thermic increase from the oil. See, there's some, when we go over to Telegram, I can get real, real, because there's a little conspiracy around a lot of this. Because this is, you know, if you look at it, when you go to a doctor, why aren't the doctors doing the tests? That's number one. I know why. We don't have to get into it. Then number two, they know these benefits. Every medical journal says that we're out of balance, but why isn't everyone taking these oils? It's because there's a little cloud around it, right? One, you don't know if it's a quality oil. Two, people don't even know about the testing. There are people right now who are going to use this oil. They're going to do the test. They're going to see improvements. And a lot of the things they've been dealing with are not going to be something they, ha they have to deal with again. Imagine like all these people who are insulin resistant. What if this is the tool that's going to make all the difference for them? I believe it is. And I believe that when people learn about the ratios of six to three, it gives us an opportunity to talk to them about seed oils. And then when you talk about polyphenols, right? Polyphenols, like one of the cool things about this whole process and this oil is that one, they get wild fish where they extract the oil, they reduce the exposure to oxygen, they have a really cool process where they can fuse the polyphenols into the oil and it encapsulizes the oil, keeps it fresh, keeps it from going rancid. And then the polyphenols, right, when you look at a red bell pepper or a red orange or a green apple or a red uh, uh, tomato or uh, orange orange, uh, those colors are because of those are there's polyphenols there and those polyphenols act similar to an antioxidant and they also act like a prebiotic so when they get into the gut they're helping that leaky gut they're 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 helping all of this stuff now let me also say that i got tested and when i got tested keep in mind i eat out of 21 meals a week seven of those meals is salmon. Now, I was a vegetarian for many years. I like salmon the way most people like chicken. So don't sit there, anybody, and go, that's a lot of salmon. I would look at you and go, that's a lot of chicken. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't point the finger at me because I like salmon. I just happen to like salmon. And I eat it sometimes as a snack. I eat it. As, I had it for breakfast this morning. So when I got my test, I was 2.7 to 1. So that was under 3 to 1. And now I'm taking the oils and I'm expecting, I would like to be like 1, I mean, you know, 2 to 1. If not 1 to 1, hell. So consuming more of the omegas is not, there's no negative to that. It's only positive. Okay. Any questions? If, if anyone has any questions, we will answer your questions right, right here and now. And maybe you have a question, Lisa, based on this one study that I'm sharing. And anyone who's my client, make sure when we talk, I tell you about this because you want to get the test and you want to like get on the oil. Uh, you don't hear me. I don't recommend products. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't. And I have, you know, 20 plus years. A lot of these people have known me for that, that long. And they know I don't promote products. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like the liquid collagen. I was very aware of the, the foundation of how it got started. I saw the studies. It made sense. I look at a whole bunch of other things out there. I can't say they make sense. Mm -hmm. This makes sense. And now we're in a position where we can introduce people to it and give people a chance to benefit from what it can do for them. Thoughts? I think this, you know, I, I've been kind of excited since learning about it. 
Um, one, I didn't know that you can go get an omega test. Um, so like this is the first I've heard that you can go request an omega test from your doctor. Um, I'd love to talk more. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that when we go over to Telegram as to why they don't do that because they do recommend omegas. Um, omegas have been recommended by my son's pediatrician for him. Um, my doctor has recommended omegas. I've gotten the vitamin D test to check my vitamin D levels, but I've never heard about the omega levels being tested. Um, I think it was interesting, you know, too, and I spoke to the, I spoke with this, uh, I spoke to you about this earlier um, because I've noticed, um, you know, when it comes to some fish oils, you know, I've shared that my son tends to, you know, have a reaction and that's why I have not really found a fish oil for him, um, per se. Um, but I didn't know about that rancid, you know, that a lot of those fish oils are rancid. So I wonder, is it, is it, is it the quality of the fish oil? I don't know. There's a lot of interesting stuff here, Robert, and I'm glad that you have brought this to my attention. Well, thank you. And as I mentioned to you earlier, and for those of you who are allergic to fish, they have a vegan product that has the same omega oils, right? So they just pull it from the algae, right? So the fish eat the algae, we eat the fish, right? So they just go straight to the algae and you can, you know, so you have that option. And then it's the polyphenols that's part of their patented process that, again, encapsulates the oil, preserves it, protects it. Right. Um, and no one else is doing that. So and it's not like they've been around for a year. They've been around doing and doing this for over 10, 10 uh, years. Uh, they've had over, like I think, one point three million tests to date and only about twenty three thousand in the United States. So people in the United States don't know about it. This is all taking place in Europe, uh, primarily in Norway. And the rules are stricter in Norway. So to start a company like this there and to come to the States was easy. And now, of course, that includes Canada. But this is a product that can be revolution. It can revolutionize how we look at health. Everyone can benefit from consuming more omega-3. And obviously, uh, you know, if you cut back on your omega-6. So this is what I share with people. I say, get the test. And you have one of four options. Number one, you do that, you get the test and you can just do nothing. Don't do anything. And a lot of people are like that, right? They do nothing. They find out that they have a hemoglobin A1C that's really high or fasting glucose really high. And they just go back to regular life. They don't want to take any meds. They just do nothing. So that's always an option. Uh, number two, and I, I don't even feel comfortable saying this out loud or I feel a little thrown off. But let's say you have a husband who eats horrible. Maybe he's a type 2 diabetic. Maybe he doesn't really take care of himself. And you've been arguing and doing everything you can to get him to eat and take care of himself better. Well, if you take this oil, even though you don't change anything with your nutrition habits, you're going to see your ratios get better. Matter of fact, in one of the longevity studies, and I've shared this with you, Lisa, they looked at people who smoke cigarettes every day and they have a high level of omega-3, they have the same life expectancy of a person who does not smoke but has low omega-3s. That's, that's all I needed to hear. That's an interesting study. Yeah, wow. you, can't, you can't even debate it. It's like real. So the benefit of omegas is very clear. Now, if someone just can't afford it, but they can still eat, I would say at least eat salmon twice a week. That's a way to naturally, without supplementing, uh, to get your omega-3s up. But a lot of people don't want to eat salmon or catfish or tuna. They, they don't, they don't, they don't want to eat any of that. Yeah, and it's cutting back on those omega-6. I mean, we're, right? A hundred percent. I mean, you want to do that, but even if you cut back on the six, that doesn't mean that you improve the ratios. Right. But I'm saying it helps cutting back yeah. on the six. 
Yeah, which is one of the things that I love about this because we talk about seed oils all the time. So now with the test, like remove the oil. If I just have the test, I can get my clients tested. You can do the same. We can look at it. And now they're interested to learn about, well, what foods are high in omega-6? Well, let's talk about seed. You, you see what I mean? Like yeah. it's, a, it's a great conversational piece and it's a great learning curve opportunity when you do the test. And then when you have a good product that we have, it only makes sense to use a product. So my daughter, because you know about liquid collagen, my 16 and a half year old, when she was two years old, she was drinking the collagen. Both my kids, when they were really tiny, they would, they called it Jisuru back then. They were, they were enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And because I saw it as a positive thing. Mm -hmm. Well, right now they're both using this omega-6 oil. Or, I'm sorry, omega-3 oil. Because it makes sense. And my daughter loved it because it helps with, you know, uh, acne. It mm -hmm. also helps. She saw the study. I had it on the table. And I was explaining it to her how there's, and these are other studies where they saw a major increase with skeletal muscle and they saw a reduction in fat mass just by taking the oil. Yeah, that was, that was so interesting, that study. I mean, and there's so many, that's why I said one of four, because I'm going to introduce a different expert who is in total agreement. Uh, the studies are clear. So we can go over to Telegram and um, yeah, you know, we can we can go wild over there, and I'll I'll share what I'm really thinking. Yeah, we'd we'll love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I had a, there was a couple questions. So Sandy asked, "Will it help my asthma?" You know what? I don't know. We'll see. I've been hearing some uh, many anecdotal stories, but we'll see. Uh, Sherry asked a question, where can we get the breakdowns of EPA and DHA values? I'll provide that to you, Sherry. So if we have a call this week, that'd be great. Or text me and I'll text it back to you. Um, okay. I think other than that, let me just do a quick shout out. Uh, I was talking to Leslie and, uh, and Leaf, my clients, great people. So I'm glad you guys got to catch this. Uh, what's up, Sandy? We got Susan Moser in the house. Dana DeMano. <laughs> I think Karen made it. Darlene is in the house. Darlene's rocking it. Cecilia, we need to talk. You need to talk to me about this product. This is a great product, you guys. It is a great product. And I can all, all I can tell you is that every client that I have, whether they do it or not, I will introduce them to the test and the importance of it. And then I will show them the product. Uh, and then for those of you who have taken fish oils in the past, you don't have to worry about the smell. There is no smell. You don't got to worry about uh, the it? taste. There is no taste. Wow. Uh, That's you don't have, good. Oh, I'm telling you, like it's, I mean, you can do it, do it straight. I put it in my little shot glass with some water and I watch the oil go to the top and then I drink it. This morning when I woke up, I poured myself some water with some lemon and I just put it in my, my water with lemon. And uh, so that's how I'm going to do it now. Just it's just easier just to have my glass of water, which I start my day off like that every day. So other than that, any other questions? We're going to go to Telegram. I want to invite you guys over to Telegram. So we provide a link. You can come over and we can be a little bit more raw in our conversation uh, and say things that we may get in trouble saying uh, on these platforms. But uh, there's a big part of me. And I'll end here, and then Lisa, you can, you know, take us over there. I I really believe. What if, like, I really have this thing in my head going, with all these people who are inflamed, right? I mean, Tufts University uh, came out recently, and they said that they predict over ninety three percent of adults have some level of insulin resistance. Uh, a few years before that, Chapel Hill, uh, North Carolina you know, the university, they said 88%. So it's going up. Mm. And when you look at the data, 
all of these illnesses and challenges and cancers is just getting worse and worse. So what if the missing link is omega threes? I know. I'm, I've been since we've had this, started having this conversation. I, I really have. There's a lot of kids. You know, I, I've, I'm in a lot of groups with a lot of kids that are suffering from a lot of different inflammatory conditions. You know, I try and help them with their 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 parents with their diets when I can too. But now that this door is open, you know, about with the omegas, I'm really, I'm really curious to see. I would love to see too with these kids with these inflammatory issues, like what their omega levels are, you know? Every, like, that's why, like, the more you, like, read into this and learn about it and read the studies, that part is part of the conspiracy part because it's like, why aren't more people aware of this? Like, I've always been aware of it. Um, seriously, like, I can show you in a book I was writing in 1998. Um, I was talking about, Omega six to three ratios. It was very clear then. It's gotten way worse, but I couldn't find an omega that I could recommend. And I remember seeing a study once where over eighty percent of the oils people buy, you know, uh, at the counter are rancid. Well, you know, and that's why I think, like, even when I um, I used to take them, and then there was uh, I remember hearing about like the heavy metals, like the mercury and that. So it was like weighing out, um, you know, and, and them being ran. Well, I didn't know about them being rented, but I Ooh. heard a lot. Well, well, let me speak to that because, okay. Cause there's one study I can, and I'll send this to you because there are some people saying, Hey, well, cause a lot of, you know, pregnant women are, have been encouraged to take fish oils, omega three oils. Right. So then people say, well, what about all the mercury that's in the fish and that's going to like harm the baby? Well, what they discovered in these studies is that the um, omega-3 cancels out the negative impact of the mercury. You'll have to send me those studies because that's what I, I remember. I That's when I think I probably first heard about the omegas was when I was pregnant. And yep. then I heard about the mercury. And so it was, um, what do I do? So I didn't have all the information back then. That's well, interesting. Thanks for sharing that, Robert. Hey, hey, hey. It's uh, We got to make it happen. Now is the time, everybody. Uh, now, if somebody's interested, just send me an email. Uh, my email is robert at dietfreelife.com, robert at dietfreelife.com. I can send you a link. Uh, I can get on the phone with you. We can schedule a consultation. I can tell you all about it. Uh, again, the oils, the monthly supply of the oils is, um, you know, like I think either $52 a month or $62 a month. Uh, the testing can be a little pricey. Um, but if you get the test with your first month of oil, it's only $124. So $124 US. And then you would pay the monthly if you chose to go with the $52 bottle of oil or the $62 bottle, uh, $2 bottle of oil, then that's up to you. And then at the end of four months, they give you a free test so you can see if the product has actually helped you. See, that's awesome. Then you're just not, you know, like, cause they're, I mean, that's in a way guaranteeing that the product is going to do something right. They're giving you that free test, but it's like, how many people do, are we taking supplements and we don't even know that it's, it's, if it's helping us or not. No, I like it's, that. All, it's all anecdotal, right? It's like you mm -hmm. meet people and they go, Oh, I'm telling you, I feel so much better, but there's no test. Oh, you know, I'm telling you, I must be losing weight. There's no test. There's no way to confirm that it actually is doing what you're saying it's doing. Now, there's a lot of people that share. I mean, I'm a guy who had a number one infomercial on TV, so I know all about anecdotal testimonials. Um, and people don't tend to believe them. But when you have a test, right? Like it's kind of like if you have a hemoglobin A1C, you're full-blown type 2 diabetic of 15%. And then you are 5.5%. You're off all drugs and they do another test. You fully are in remission. You have reversed your type 2 diabetes. 
Um, anyone that's on that has high blood pressure, they need to get on this oil. Anyone who's a type two diabetic, pre diabetic, they need to be on this oil. Whether they get it through me or somebody else, but they need to get on this oil. Uh, anyone who feels like they have insulin resistance, they're struggling, the weight's not coming off, they're doing everything right, they need to get on this oil. They need to do the test and get on the oil. Okay. All right, I'm done. There's no questions coming in. It's up to you. You ready to move over to Telegram? Sounds good. So anybody who's new and joining us over on Telegram, Robert has put a link down below. You're just going to click on that and join, sign up. If you're, not, if you're not on Telegram now, sign up and join the chat. You'll see a join button at the top of the screen when you click that link. And we'll be in there. We can have a nice conversation, you know, not... It's, it's a voice conversation, so we can have the conversation back and forth. And, you know, join us over there because Facebook was down today, right? All of the sites were down today, but Telegram was up, so we can stay connected over there. I'll see you there, Robert. All right, you guys, we're on our way over to Telegram, so come join us. I'm going to play a little music to take us out, and then I'll see you in Telegram. We got this, everybody. Come on. <laughs>